all, how does it feel to be here tonight? Uh, feels great, especially considering uh, I was one of the folks that helped build this network. Um, one of the uh, original. Light flex. No, I'm just, you know, I'm just saying. Uh, facts. That, no, it's facts. It's facts. Uh, I was telling someone earlier, what people don't understand is that when we were starting, uh, you had to go to each individual city to convince the local cable company to put TV One on. And so they would send me out and we would do events. So I'm talking about Rochester, New York, Buffalo, New York, Savannah, Georgia, San Antonio, Fort Worth. So we had to put on these like events to get African Americans hyped up. Uh, and so travel all around Mississippi, Alabama, travel all around this country to get TV One on all of these different uh, cable systems. Uh, and so it was, so it's not like, oh, I can launch a digital show and we're everywhere. No, you had to go to each individual city. So uh, it was, uh, it was always interesting. Uh, I'm sure. I remember freezing my butt off in Wichita, Kansas. Can't be colder than it is today. Oh, no, 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 no. Baby, this is the Midwest. Oh, Lord. Oh, no, it was cold. So, you know I'm not built so from we, that. So, so I'm thinking back to all of that. Uh, and I actually came across the videos of the first news special we did. It was a national conference of black, national black mayors. It was at uh, the, uh, the, um, uh, the Lorraine Motel, now Civil Rights Museum. Uh, and it was, so, so yes, the last 20, last 20 years uh, has, has been a lot of memories. Uh, he's always at the root of something. He's, I mean, first of all, if you know him, first of all, he's going to be fresh to death. <laughs> I, I'm surprised he don't have his feathers, because normally no, it's no, a no, feather no. coming out of the pocket. Scott, so I, want, I need to hit him with, the, uh, with this one here, so. How does it feel to be, since you were such a big part of, of the development of the network, how does it feel to be at the sixth annual Urban One Honors Awards? Uh, it's great, because it's great to see people, because when I hosted it, it was during COVID, uh, and there was nobody in the theater. Uh, so um, it was great, uh, and we'll see what happens this year, because last year, uh, when Tank uh, came out, he was like, uh, yeah, Roland, I see your African outfit. You couldn't get low, and I was like, oh, really? So I had to drop it. So he, can un so he can understand, don't let the African outfit fool you. So we'll see what happens this year. 